to 77. Feels bad. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. All right, Fay Long with the Gauss. You know what would be really nice? Executing Mackies with Gauss. Bye. We set three for three with Fei Long on Gauss shots. It's nice. All right, we've got Apollo's loaded, but we can easily. Oh, we Apollo's loaded. This is the mint. This is not the mech I was thinking it was for a second. Okay, we can shoot and move. Let's kill the vehicle. Can we split shot here. If we moved over to like here. Yeah, we can. Care Bear with the Infernos. Heat kill that one. This has actually been a really easy roll for us. They didn't... Uh, the stuff they have used has been a lot of... A few very heavy mechs. And they've been pretty easy for us to kill with a uh, combination of melee with uh, heat. Which meant so we actually got off really well on this mission. Can I get to a... I can get LOS over here. Get it there as well. That seems fine. A turn though, unfortunately. We all went ahead of him, but we weren't able to kill him from range. What's he doing? Point blank in Nobu, but a miss. Okay. Receiving you. I don't think it matters who kills him. I don't care about his gear, so we're going to attack him from behind again. No behind, he's covered his behind. Left side will hit arm, right side, right side blocks all my shots. We'll just take these two shots here. Let's turn the supercharger off, mask off rather. It's fine, don't care if we get on fire. Heading out. Thank you, Spanky, Arting yeah, quick and easy. Attack. That's what we need when we're doing a uh, cash mission. So we hit the worst possible location there. Let's turn these off. There. Copy that. Hit the leg, second worst possible location. Okay. Standing by. Keeping it consistent at least. Can flank shot him with the MRMs from here. We'll get a little bit closer and do that. Apparently blocked from there. Kind of weak mechs too. Heliopolis is kind of a garbage mech, and so are this version, anyways. And so was the um, so were the Mackies. Hopefully, we can kill it before it acts again. I don't really want to hit it with heat missiles. A generous bestowal. Can the heat missiles do literally anything to it. I mean, yeah, I guess they kind of do. Donated that. Thank you, Pen Pen. Added to the roster? Yeah. I think you're next in line then. I think we have no unavailable people right now, but we are looking to recruit somebody soon, so. You may indeed. Cheers for the support. Okay. Fairly uh, easy mission. Did take that one big hit from the Heliopolis, the single round on the melee mech, hit him for about 80 in the torso, which is a lot. 
1.1 million in cash. Phalong tied for top kills in this mission. Pretty wild. All right, there's a billion Mackie parts. Ah, oh, there's only two. I cored one in the center. How the fuck can there only be two parts when I hit one? I literally killed one by shooting its torso, center torso out or ripping its center torso out with the claw. How can it possibly not leave more than two parts? We killed two of them. I don't know. What's an Arrow 4 OS? Center torso leaves one piece when you kill it. Uh, ERM... Laser Magnus. Laser Rifle, which is a hand replacement. Other M15, Narc Launcher. I don't have a Narc Launcher. Medium Chems. Medium Laser P. Okay. TPCs, Tag Barrages. We're not, we're not allowed to play with Tag Barrages right now. Angel ECMs, Boosted C3, boosted C3 Slave. It's quite a big increase. Engine XL for selling. 280 if we want a 280 core. Artemis Ballistic Plus Plus. Is this an FCS? It's an FCS. It's interesting. Um, Guardian ECM, heat sink times 12, Omnipod hand, Omnipod pod lower arm, range finder plus plus plus, reinforced structure, got a stealth system, an upper spike is kind of valuable, we don't have one of these yet, or rather don't, oh is this the one that doesn't actually do what I always think it does? Is it the one that is just melee damage taken? Is the only thing it changes. Chat, let me know about this one. I can't remember what upper arms do. It's just tankiness. Fuck that. It's nearly useless then. I think this rangefinder plus 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 is what I'm looking at right now. The FCS++ replaces three modules we have in our ballistic mech, but doesn't it give us a downgrade overall? Like, aren't we getting more than this off of what we have right now? The 10% range is nice. Don't really care about the rest of that. I think I'm going to take the rangefinder. These are different ones though, chat. Like this triple, the double here does something different than this one. This is just one uh, accuracy, one recoil. And we already have that too. Okay. All right, got the stealth suite. I don't know what, I think this is the basic one that kind of sucks, right? It's okay. Centurion part, medium lasers, SRM. Eh, roll's kind of bad, but we did it for the money. Stealth is stealth, though. I don't really... I feel like mechs that don't have at least some stealth are just super insanely vulnerable. Like, you're just, you're just armor tanking, and the enemies have enough weapons that armor tanking is really not a thing. Like, you want... You gotta have some, some combination of either movement, stealth or like bulwarks and whatnot. And even then it's kind of like, it's not really enough. Like anytime someone starts getting focused down, like you'll, you'll feel it so bad if you don't have good stealth systems. Like in bringing 50 ton mechs anywhere near the front lines right now, is like crazy, crazy bad. So picking up stealth is okay right now. Even only a three star stealth or a three part stealth, it's still three harder to hit. All right, two days repair seems fine. All right, two days is about what we need. Excuse me, a no-fly zone in there, sure. Two days is also when our grasshopper, first grasshopper finishes. 
well, part of it anyways. Okay, we're gonna get another mission in before the end of the month. It's nice. All right, let's move this forward two days. Uh, the only other thing is the range finder plus plus. It's an upgrade on, um, it's not much of an upgrade though, it's just sight range. They already have gunnery on pretty much everybody, right? So I think we'll just wait. Probably goes in the head of one of these grasshoppers. All right, should we look for a new recruit? I don't think we're taking a new recruit in this system because the new recruits in the system aren't very good and we're looking for, uh, looking for one in probably the next system we head over to. All right, two days. Okay. Nice. All right, we have people. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing a guy. Shit, maybe we'll have to take another recruit. We'll see. How long? One day for Sir Flipper. Can wait on that. Just have to make sure our mechs are being worked. All right, so we need to start messing with that new grasshopper. We have to make a decision about this grasshopper build. We've been really hesitant to do that because it's so expensive. But we're ready for seven mechs, so there's no reason not to. Um, how about a stealth system on here? It's only 5% heat cost, which is pretty light, although we would lose the not terrible if we can fit it without the ferro fibers it's probably fine ER PPC and bombast bombast don't really want to be long range although this is probably the one getting the FCS predator in it right in which case we really don't need PPCs we use whatever fucking weapon system we want Uh, what are we putting in this one? Wait, we don't ever know. It needs one jump jet, so that can go on. And it probably needs ECM. Regular Guardian. And we're not sure which probe we're using on it quite yet. We only need one day, right? Could pump its armor up a little bit more, but I'm not sure where that's going yet. I'll probably just sign off on this. a new spine hunter. Spine hunters is pretty good as is. Don't really feel a lot of reason. I don't feel a lot of reason to retire that mech. Mech's kicking ass. Alright. Yeah. The hardened pharaoh is very expensive to move. So we'll bring this forward one day. And I probably need to restart the game. It's been two missions since we've done that. So we have the save point. Let's just go ahead and do that. Once it actually saves. Okay. It also doesn't actually make the, it doesn't make the mech do any more damage, right? Or very, very, very little since the mech, all the damage comes off the modifications on it. 
which is gonna be basically the same. All right, chat, two second break for me, get more water, etc. Launch, relaunch the missions, back in a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, hey Long, I think I'm kind of with you. The comment about it will be eventually something we do, but you get we got to prioritize. There's two things that are holding us back: mech bay timing and then um, money. And the mech bay timing right now, we have to build another mech before we can even retire one, right? Because we're we're literally missing a mech to launch every day, every mission with. I just don't think it makes any sense to take a very one of our most powerful mechs off the field right now. We're gonna retire the two hunchbacks before we retire the uh, the Wolverine. I mean, it just literally last mission one shot a 100 ton mech. I think it's doing okay. Yeah, but you're right. It will be. It would be an improvement in terms of its overall efficiency, effectiveness. If we could do that, it's just can't afford it right now. All right, one day to get Flipper back. Okay. Let's take a look at the missions. Do we have to run another cash mission? It feels so bad to be running so many fucking cash missions, especially as these get to be like the really high salvage. Maybe we paid enough to run a non one. Destroy base, Badlands. Destroy base, Lowlands. This is going to be like a vehicle mission or something weird, right? But it has no cash, so we're going to definitely take salvage from that. Seems like I have enough cash. Really don't. I mean, I, I'm going to sell a bunch of shit before the end of the month, too. So maybe. Maybe we do this as a five, like this. not checking clan store right now there's tons of nice shit in it but i can't afford it so it makes it like i don't i don't even want to look it's so good but i don't want to look 
We have to get more mechs on the field. Yeah, maybe there is a sweet point. Maybe like, I mean, the thing about five, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the five roll right now. Which one did I take, by the way? I took the most money, right? Okay, good. Right, I'm expecting this mission to be a little heavier. Get Super Kamiguru ready. Pretty light. Uh, we should do barracksing first. Make sure we have stats to assign. We're assigning them. All right, this is the weird pilot with the other guy that needs to be respect. What are we doing with Sifu? Going to 10. Flipper has availability here. What else, what else do we get from this? Called shot mastery, extra view addition, reduced hesitation penalty. I think he kind of needs heat. right there also there's second recoil up top if we go up that way Ten percent range increase is really relevant on this mech can we still do this we can kind of like that okay and super kamaguru doing what on this guy? It's definitely gunnery four. Question is what else? Do we have enough ace pilots? Do we have enough um, phantom pilots that we're happy with? We have one. I feel like phantom pilots are like bread and butter. It's the warlord build, the warlord build. Scott, we don't know. No, oh, we've got like two right now. Thirsty's building it. This could be our fourth Phantom Pilot. I think getting that started is fine. So we take um, there, there, there. And get up to six on this, like that. And then build up for Phantom. All right. Waiting for orders. And then thirsty work. Ooh, yeah. Feels good. Can we also get the heat in the same round? A sick round. Uh, we do have enough cool stuff to fit on the grasshoppers. We have the bombast, the predator suite stuff, and the um, the rotaries if we want to keep using the rotaries. The issue is actually because I can't, I need to almost plan all three mechs simultaneously to see what we have floating around. I think the stalker becomes an increased hunchback. We're going to take the SRMs off the hunchback and take the plasma rifles off the hunchback and make a better heat boat on the stalker, I think. Um, but then we have to figure out what we're doing for the two sets of laser weapons on the grasshoppers, like what distribution of those. We could do one which is rotary and disco and the other which is bombast and something else, but it hasn't been fitting super well. And we're short a couple heat modules. Uh, I keep waiting, I keep misclicking. Okay. How broke are we? Fairly broke. Uh, we're going to leave a mark. Going like that. Pulling them out. Two more mechs in. I wish it saved the mech configuration like it does with the top four. All right, who piloting what? Two melees are in, great. Uh, we need high gunnery skill on the catapult. I think Scott has the highest gunnery skill, that's fine. Then Thirsty now is phantom mech. Flipper on the missile boat is fine. Thirsty and Super Kamiguru. Very similar stats here. Uh, I think we'll give Super Kamiguru the um, the house size Gauss. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, it would not be terrible to have um, some sort of long range laser boat. It's true. We have a fair number of clan ERs. Like I think we have two clan pulse, two clan ER, some PPCs. It's just very difficult to get the heat down on energy boats. They're like very, very reliant on like heat exchangers. I don't have any more heat exchangers floating around, I don't think. I'm worried about ammo consumption on the back and forth base fight. We only have about 10 rounds of ammo on most of our guys. A little bit less on things like the LRM boat. Command interface initiated. Good to go, Commander. All right, where are we? Bottom of a hill in the corner of the map. Walking towards a base up here. Thirsty and Scott. Scott is piloting this one. Got it. I think I'm going to be trying to run uh, EC. CM on this one. It's a fairly heavy chassis that doesn't have to be in direct fire or melee range most of the time. Receiving you. Quite a bit faster on this one. Ah, dude, I'm a little scared of like racing ahead like this. Really don't want to get turreted on something like this guy. But our lance is designed to engage at kind of close ranges right now, so I kind of feel like we have to move up as much as we can. Flipper could wait, presumably. Oh, no. Can't even get in missile range on him, so I guess we're going as close as we can. Where are the trees? No trees in this one. Uh, that's melee. Ready for orders. Gauss on Super Kamigiru. I copy. He's got a very, uh, his picture and his voice don't match very well. Gonna be headed up this way at all? Nope. Roger that. Full speed. Doesn't actually look like there's anything around us. Yes, Commander. Okay. All right, no real intel this round. Good to go. This is a wait, see what shows up. Roger that. Standing by. There we go. First Centurion. Okay, definitely want this guy closer. Roger. 
is Badlands biome, so we're expecting heat to be an issue somewhat on some of our mechs. Half health crusader. Do we have sight on us? No, we don't have vision. Waiting for the right move. Okay. I don't like them spawning on the top of this hill. Ready for orders. Cheaters. I'm not even sure how I get up this hill right now. I think I have to go around, like up there. Alright, let's try out new phantom mech here. Since I am putting a fragile mech pretty far out, I'm gonna move to there, hoping for LOS on some of these guys. Did not get it. Got a lot of s got a lot of LOS or a lot of sensors, but not a lot of sight. Eights and fifteens aren't good enough to shoot at. Okay. Zanabu can't attack. She can't see them. That's a fucking heavy carrier sat way the fuck over there. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do about that quite yet. Maybe shoot it with um, heat LRMs and see if we can get it with indirect. Kamaguru needs to just move closer. Probably about there. And can we reach? Can we even get in range to shoot anything? Yeah, we can. Actually have LOS there too. What is the missile range on this? But but where are my missile range? I think the range matters for this, but I don't think the So we're already in max, so moving first is probably just worse. These always hit, right? That's why they're so fucking OP. Scared of this thing. All right, let's sensor lock something first. Maybe this guy. Sensors locked on. Not sure it even had an evasion pip, honestly. Take a shot. Oh, we don't have move then. Ah, we don't. We don't have the ability to move after doing this. Fine. Dude, indirect missile fire on vehicles is just busted when they have low hit points like that. It just kills the turret. So nice. I don't know if it was necessary to take that out. Depends what it was launching. They're just really scary, right? Carriers are designed to have low... Uh, low hit points and very high damage so getting it out is nice but I don't know okay end of the round yep can't hit anybody because you can't get in sight is this gonna get me high enough eventually? Like, is this a, a valley that we go up? Maybe it is. Got it. No shooting, just running. Okay. Orders. Yeah, I can't even get up over this way. I think it's this was the path.
useless fucking probe. Okay. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. <laughs> Bring it down. Shot their own base structure with a turret. Well done, team. Alright. I think we're reserving here. Where's Thirsty? Really need to get sight on these things, but nothing seems to let me do that. Try not to waste the melees, since they're pretty much a one shot right now. Front loaded with the warlord stuff or the uh, berserker stuff. It's visible now. Light damage, commander. Nope, still not visible. You know he's fucking shooting me like he's visible. It's kind of annoying. We'll have to get somebody up there then to see stuff. This is the heat. These shots are really bad. Should be second round of um, Phantom Mech. Got sight here. We're gonna kill this Centurion for sure with one of the melee mechs. For sure, right? AMS going on there. Barely hit, Commander. All right, it's Kamaguru with the rifle. Thirteen percent, not a number. It's a number here. So don't have visuals, right? This ridge, not having played this map before or not no recognizing the map, plus this ridge is kind of unpleasant right now. Commander. We do have another heat attack we could use. These things are fairly clumped. Heat attacking vehicles tends to give you a pretty good yield. I actually do have direct LOS on this thing and that thing. They're blocked, but it is direct.
heavy point defense. I think we're gonna move up this way and then just dump on uh on the way. vehicles that are clumped. See if we can get a two for one here. Your one still an 80 ton tank right there just drove in a circle though Waiting for orders. can we get to that right now can i really not go up this location wow Fucking special locations. Yes, Commander. Okay, she can get in there though. behind from the front fortified Thirsty's up first. Actually have sight on things. It's kind of nice. Can move up this ridge too. Moving to position. This is bulwark, so it will um, give us entrenched. I think we're just going to take this out with heat. Seems reasonable. Very annoyed that lived. Ready for orders. Try to get over this way. Aye, aye. I don't think we care about shooting this guy, but maybe. Our cannon, the Gauss. Not quite an optimal. Yes, sure. Okay, stomp the vehicle. Can't get there at the moment, apparently. There we go. Seems pretty good.
surprisingly accurate for the number of evasion pips we had going on. Uh, so we're back on the Arties. What can we get with actual LOS? Get a rear shot on that guy there. I don't know how good or bad of a shot that is. That's pretty much the only thing I have. So we're probably going to take that. Heating up a lot right now. Twenty-eights here. Ouch. Looks like he had a fair chunk of back armor. It's a bummer. Looks like he had some heat issues. Standing by. Get some damage in there. Could kill this thing. Actually turning those off apparently. Wait, no way. What? Why can't I stand there and hit him? You know what? I don't even care. This is fine. Position confirmed. Targeting for visual attack. Yeah. Oh, is that what he had? He had no visuals. That would explain it. I didn't. I thought I had visual on him. Probably because he's like not. He's like revealed on the map. Yeah, you're right. That's a no visual sign. It looks like you can see him, but no. Yay! Super common guru. Alright, we have visuals there, we do not. 74, 50, anything downrange? I think that's considered downrange. Got him. Guess I should look around and see if this thing looks like it has anything. It's got NSS stealth. We've already destroyed it. Took the leg off anyways. Eighteen of eighteen missiles shot down. for it. What do we have left? We got a 16 and a 17 still coming up. Scott. Scott's on the no fly zone. I think we can probably kill the centurion with that. Let's go after this thing. Probably should have warlorded there. Or berserked rather. Looks like it didn't matter. Great. LRM's available. Can't get LOS though on anything. 
Only this guy, huh? I guess we kill here, it's fine. Not a very exciting use of our LRMs. I don't know if this guy can get in range to do it or not, but I do want this guy dead. So, we'll probably go for that. Really nice turrets have no sight on us. Uh, we're not going to be able to do anything to turrets that are Orders. set up like this. We might as well move in to get vision. Yes, Commander. Although vision doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Probably should have actually supercharger sprint moved instead, but oh well. Full speed, no target. Oh, I sprinted, so this is going to be a ping. Okay. Pretty sure we already had sensor lock, so there's a real chance that did absolutely nothing. Heading out. Running pretty hot on this guy right now. Can't do that. 94 to hit's pretty good though. Okay. Still shooting down all of our missiles with that heavy point defense. Can get to a position where I can shoot a turret. Can I do it at a walk? No. I have to go through flames. No. On. What did that say that turret had? Sniper artillery. Orders. All right, I have to get at least one turret down if we can. All indirect though, it looks like. Ugly. Location confirmed. Can't even fire these. It's really disappointing. hilarious that their point defense doesn't actually protect buildings. Oh, and we just got shot in the head from machine gun fire off a fucking turret. Feels bad. Injury through injury resist. Um, I don't think injury... I'm not sure how this works with this much health and taking damage with no actual injury resist. I'm pretty sure you just gain health off guts. I don't think it actually gives you injury resist. 
I'm pretty sure with the, the stuff that says blah, 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 injury resist is actually referring to initiative injury resist. So like when you get punched in melee. But I guess I'm not 100% certain on that. Heading out. Okay. Can't do anything with her. Might as well just ping, I guess. Not before it fucked up one of our pilots, huh? Receiving you. I don't really want to be hit by this, but. How many days it will be with a five health person getting hit? At the moment, uh, pilot health seems nearly useless to me. Doesn't have a minimum, right? Maybe it does. On my way. This went down in accuracy. Waiting for orders. Turret destroyed. Waiting for orders. I don't think any more enemies can spawn from here, but maybe they can. I'll try to use some stuff that has more ammunition than I need. Like this stuff. Got it. No shooting, just running. Locking our target. Probably use machine gun. I could probably turn the AMS to machine guns if I really cared to. Which I don't. Alright, so we took a head or a headshot on Xanabu. Let's see if five health does anything here. Seems kind of weird. Presumably it's just percent based recovery time then, so hopefully just a little bit less time in the med bay for her. Uh, 300k, the mechs were pretty bad, so I'm expecting the loot to be garbage too, but we'll see. Two AC2 Imperators. AOE auto cannon 2. There's whatever the hell this thing is. Kind of bad mech parts. LBX AC 10 times 4. That's exciting as a stack of 4. Although I don't really love large bore auto cannons. 
PR mediums, large lasers, medium pulse. LRM 20 delta times three is kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, there's another plasma cannon. It's a compact heat sink. FCS advanced TC we have, some shit engine cores. Another flak FCS. Four doubles in the stack. Another IFF jammer, another range finder. Weapon mount. Haven't had one of these yet. Plus three accuracy with arm mounted weapons. Plus 30% firing arc with ranged weapons. Minus one recoil with ranged weapons. Thing seems really good. I want one of those. And not a whole lot else here. ABX cluster. LBX 10 slug. Cinderi LRMs. LRM safe. RD4s times 4. Thunder swarms. Thunder augmented. Machine gun ammo. Heat machine gun ammo. It's kind of interesting. Sniper. More uh, short range incendiaries. Hmm. Yeah, the arm mount's very good. So this is kind of, this is where it feels really bad to get high salvage. There's not a lot of stuff in here we care that much about. The flak is maybe okay. I really need to test if this evasion ignore um, synergizes with melee or not. I don't know. Um, I can use one more jammer, I believe. Though I don't really remember if I needed one more or not. Uh, the any of these mech pieces exciting? No, really not. So the ABX, the AC tens times four. I mean, I'm not four of these is decent money, right? The Delta twenties are kind of interesting too. Like I don't have LRM twenties yet. Uh, it just feels like such weak picks. They feel like third or fourth picks. Do I take compact heat sinks? Do I take double heat sinks? Do I take more guardian ECM? We're a little short again. It's probably this plus ammo. The clusters, you think? Or the slugs? What do the slugs do? 10 shots. Cluster gives me also 10 shots. So this makes it do less individual damage, but has ignore. Looks actually kind of good. I think slugs are better. I don't know, man. Plus one accuracy, plus one evasion ignore. Sure, clusters are a sandpaper machine, but shoot it at something that can't fucking get sandpapered. I mean, honestly, LBX 10s are a sandpaper machine. They're only hitting for 50, right? 60. What does this actually do in terms of damage? Uh, 10 sub munitions, so it's six damage. Seven damage each or something. Yeah, let's try it. I haven't used cluster ammo at all. This feels like very weak picks, by the way, chat. Rip. Got two mech parts, two machine gun parts, sniper artillery, a couple cores. Yeah, those are some shit rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six ammo rolls. All bad. Didn't get the other LBX ammo. Seven ammo rolls even. This was like a fucking zero. 
Honestly, though, the loot was just really bad anyways, though. So, not sure what to do about that. Okay. Yes. Yep, the one we take that uh, looks like it should have decent salvage punishes us for sure. Sniper and sniper animal, ammo. Uh, I don't think I'm building Chat's Baby. Chat's Baby was so bad. Uh, that's interesting, Xanthalus, yeah. Okay. Repair, 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 repair. We need at least two days then. Two days is pay time. How long is Xanabu out for? Wow. That's so bad, man. Why? What is the point of having a pilot with five health then? I almost never take health damage on pilots. And if the guts doesn't give me any resistance to like my pilots being like out for a while, it's 12 days. She's out for 12 days. So unreasonable. Okay. All right, let's sell some shit. You know, I have really low med tech though because med tech's really bad. All right, what are we selling? Oh, do you wanna look at the faction store first, chat? Just in case there's something we need in there. That was an absolute fact trash faction roll store too. Nice. Can actually hold on to our money for once. Such a nice one. Uh, so we need to sell. We're in the store. Why did I click it again? Questions within questions, filthy. All right. What are we selling? Are we selling AC-20s? Probably not. Countermeasures, disco lasers, ER large clans, laser bright blooms, ER PPCs, heavy PPCs, large pulses, large pulse clans, laser AMSs, LBX-10s, light PPCs. Light PPC was garbage, happy to get rid of that. LRM-5 deltas, LRM-10 taloses, LRM-15 long fires times five, that's crazy, LRM-20s, LRM-20 deltas, LRM-20 long fires, I guess I did have some 20s. Probably don't need basic LRM-20s then. Okay. Medium lasers times 17. Get rid of 12 of those. Exostars. Pulse. Pulse rakers. Rotaries. Machine gun basics. Is there a world in which we ever use machine guns? I can't see them being useful. Look at that. We made $9,000, chat. It was, so, it was so worth it. MRMs. Plasma cannons. PPC. Regulars. Fucking garbage. RE medium lasers, small lasers, pretty garbage too. Sniper artillery does sell for a lot, good call, look at that. Um, SRM2s, SRM2 streaks. SRM6s, SRM6 hollies. SRM6 streaks, Thunderbolt 15, Ultra AC 20, probes. I hate that we missed the Guardian ECM on that last one. Bacon, armored cows, cases, claws, cockpit basic, cockpit small, compact heat sinks, endo steel, engine core tiny, engine core still tiny, engine core still tiny. I don't know what size I'm gonna need Engine cores again, 200 maybe? We'll see. Internal combustion, XL regular. 
million FCS. Improved and direct. Getting rid of two of these. And getting rid of all of these. After NCF Direct Plus. Machine gun, ballistics, flak. Plus one accuracy with direct fire missile attacks, 5% heat generated. That just sounds bad. FCS Primitive is bad. Clan Pharaoh, Guardian ECM, Clan Guardian. Dreadnought, UL, XL, XXL, Heat Bank, Heat Sink times 29. Heat Sink double, two conversion kits, triple heavy Pharaoh. Jump Jets, Mask. Legs, arms, clan arm times five. They don't sell for shit. Primitive cockpit, range finder, sensor basic times how many? Eight. Sensor tracker, SHS cooling, the arm that we want to use, and then ammos. Okay. Pretty garbage. Let's take a look at the mechs that we can sell. All right, I thought we picked some cicadas up. I got some centurions, there's cicadas. We have four of five on cicada parts. That's nice. Blackjack, don't really care about. Vulcan, really don't care about. More centurion parts, Apollo, don't care about. Clint, don't care about. More Centurion parts, two Shadowhawk parts, more Centurion parts, and more Centurion parts. Uh, we can't build this Centurion, apparently. All the other ones are Centurion green, but this one's not. So I guess we needed at least two parts for it. It's a little trollish. There's no reason we need this many Centurion parts, right? Why are these ones green, but this one isn't? It's a 55 ton variant, I see. So why isn't this one green then? This is also a Centurion at 50 tons. Kind of tempted to sell all of the Centurion parts. All right, I'll hold on until you've had a look at that then. I'm gonna sell the Shadowhawk parts. Okay. Heavies, a lot of different ones, but I don't think we're selling. I'll sell the 65s. Oh, the Crusader has some, like, melee something on it, right? Probably just hold them all for now. Okay. Yeah, see, the problem chat with the, the 2 of 5 belief is this one is a 1 of 5 that's ready. This one's a 1 of 5 that's ready, and that one's a 1 of 5 that's ready, and that one's a 1 of 5 that's ready. These are CN11, and these are CN9. I don't know what that means when it comes to Centurions. I just assume they're all roughly compatible. Maybe one's not. Okay, so we sold. We're ready to roll time forward two days. One, 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 sure. Where's our grasshopper that we're working on? That should be the other thing that's happening. We need to choose, commit to a fit on this grasshopper. As unexciting as that may be. Is Omni. Oh. 
What do we want to do with this this silly thing? I'm a bit worried about its heat. We looted something that I was had me thinking. It was something about using a lot. Oh, I was, kind of, I was wondering what would happen if I put like the smallest engine core ever on this thing. I gave it like a, a 155 engine core. Three six. Three six. Three six. Four six. Four six still. It's on one ninety. Four seven on a two fifteen core. And then we ran oh I wanted oh, I wanna put that weapon mount on something. That thing's sick. How much does it fucking weigh though? Arm mounted weapons, recoil with range weapons. God, that's so good, man. Where does it go? Lower arm actuator. a 215 feeling resistant to mech bay time right now is it on the gouts Yeah, it doesn't waste shit, does it? What does all what does all of our our non our non melee damage? <coughs> so we have SRM missiles that don't do it. It's the LRM boat. It's the only one that does any fucking damage right now. And the LRM boat can't mount that because it doesn't have any weight left. We might not have the mech for that right now. It's kind of sad. So what are we doing with this shit? We're making it the world's slowest laser boat at 4.7. Giving an infinite range and running what? I guess think can we just support something like this? These have fall off though, right? Snub noses. Still pretty good range. Alright, can we heat vent this on eight tons? Forty and what do these do? Sixty-five and sixty, right? It's three hundred and sixty-five alpha. How much heat is it generating? I mean, it's not going to be much, right? Ninety and fifty-one. No, no, I didn't do that right. It's sixty-five and ninety-three. Like one fifty-eight, I think. One hundred and fifty-eight heat. I don't like the fact we're going to try to fit two laser boats without um, any uh, 
actual heat mods. Like, we just don't have any. I mean, we have double heat sinks is what we have. And we have a few of them, but I don't I don't think this mech is going to have... Um, have the slots to run double heat sinks, right? And two bombast is not good enough as a weapon system. Yeah, the heat exchangers are currently... Where's the second ex I have three exchangers. They're hip fit somewhere. I should go look where they are, actually. I don't really know where they are. Uh, one is here, right? Sync double, heat sync double, heat exchanger plus plus. That needs to stay there. This thing runs right at the edge of heat overheating all the time anyways. One is on the pirate lasers, which makes sense. And one is probably on the caught mess, if I had to guess. Yes, I need something to deal with this. Your engine for heat sinks is possible, yep. I mean, I could just also not worry about it right now. Says I really would like to get that stalker going. Or not stalker, the grasshopper going. It's just really hard. I don't have anything I want to actually fit in it, you know? I know. Skipping mech bay blasphemy. Don't disagree. I wonder if we're going to be moving systems soon here. It would be a good time to rebuild. We are running low on missions, I believe. Although I don't know what happens at the beginning of next month. We're going to find out. We're two days out. Why don't we just move it forward two days and make a decision? There were two missions, two days. Okay. All right, it's paying people 1.4 million. It's a lot. Okay. New missions. Uh, didn't get any new missions. So presumably we are out of here in a minute then. Maybe to one of the locations they're sending us to, but probably not. We have a recovery at Corporate Secrets. This is the low paying one, reasonable salvage one. And then we got this one, Proxy War, which is gonna be a bitch if we do that one. Kinda would like to have Nobu for that if we're gonna do it, but I can't justify staying in system. Um, how's the barracks looking? Do we have six right now? We have five. We were going piloting 10 on Sifu? I think we were, right? Or did they each have plus one? The SLI C-Suite is on the Wolverine. That gives plus one to 10. Can't remember what the other one had. The other one might not have had anything. Spec anyways, right? Waiting there. Okay. Piloting ten, you think? On Sifu. All right, what does this leave for us? Uh, 
Uh, I don't think hireable pilots changes at all while you're in system, but I'll double check. No. We're only at five. How long do we have to wait for pilot one day on Scott? Yeah, we gotta do something with this fucking grasshopper. Or try to fit our that wep that mech that arm on one of our mechs, but presumably we wouldn't want something that actually uses arm mounted weapons. Weatherman does, but there's not it doesn't matter what it weighs, there's just not enough weight on this mech at all. So I got one arm mounted miss I don't know if that bonus the bonus reads like it applies to both arms, but it makes no sense to me. Does say plus three accuracy with arm mounted weapons. This mech can't have it, right? can't be put on our catapult. It can't be placed on the weatherman, really. The cop mess uses torso launchers. We don't really have anyone who has weapons on their arms right now. It's kind of good, kind of bad. Topper kind of will, yep. Kind of. The arm gives um, recoil. Does the arm reduce recoil on both arms or the only one arm? Stub nose and normal stub nose get to benefit on two weapons. Yeah, could do that. I mean, we can make one of these uh, grass, one of these grasshoppers into PPC. It would be nice to have some other long-range support. I kind of want to take advantage of. I have a fair number of LRM 20s now, but I don't think any of anyone who can actually mount them. I mean, we can move the, can change no-fly zone around a little bit, I guess. Running MRMs, close range MRMs. They've been okay, but not exceptional. Got a fair amount of weight on this mech. Although I like what it's doing right now. It's just we could also move the laser AMS somewhere else. My mechs are feeling a little meh right now, besides the melee mechs. The Weatherman's been kicking ass. The Dervish has been really good. The Wolverine's been really good. The rest of these mechs have not been particularly amazing. I have those, those auto cannons now. I don't think I have auto cannon mounts anywhere, though. Just on the Wolverine. Excuse me, does, but doesn't have any fucking actual weight. There's three on this guy. All in the torso, though, right? Yeah. This fucking grasshopper. Make the grasshopper a melee with support weapons. Turn the Grand Summoner into not a melee again. Uh, I'm pretty sure the shield is Omni only though, right? So we don't have another Omni mech capable of using the Omni shield or the Omni hatchet. So that won't work. Catapult's doing fine. I meant the chassis is kind of meh, because it doesn't have arms. Yeah, ski bat, we can... Uh, 
the whole point when we're moving systems is it takes a long period of time, so we want to take that time that we're traveling to refit the existing mechs. So yes, we will eventually get other mechs for sure. Doesn't really help us in the short term. We have to figure out a build on this. I don't really love the rotary lasers, mostly because I have to put so much fucking ammo. And the ammo weighs a lot. Other than that, they're fine. This is going to be the Predator, um, the Predator build here with the FCS Predator and the Sensor Tracker. Um, we gotta get heat at a reasonable amount. Bombasts are basically massively better PPCs when you start doing things like this. I wonder about plasma at infinite range. We have three now, four now. We have four plasma now. I think we looked though, and we couldn't run four plasma. Maybe we could. I also think the infinite range thing would be kind of good for the SRM heat missiles that we can put on the that we're going to be rebuilding when our stalker finishes. How would the grasshopper work with really low weight core? Um, the it's almost impossible to get enough weapons to activate with that core. Think about the math, right? So it's a 60% reduction of your of your weapon systems, but you only vent 30 heat around, and you can't impact that. So you have to figure out a way to that what weapon systems are using, you know, whatever variant is that's less than it's more than 60, but it's like less than 80 or something, right? For amount of heat you want to generate, that's the sweet spot. But 80 heat is like nothing, right? I'm not talking about the grasshopper chat, I'm talking about the stalker, which is almost done. The stalker is the rebuild of the hunchback. Question is, what do we do with this thing? Maybe I shouldn't have sold all the light lasers. This is a support weapon or a laser? Support. Efficient. Come down to needing a heat conversion kit. It comes down to not being really thrilled with any of the laser weapon systems I have available for this thing. I don't know what they are. What does this stupid thing do? One recoil. Stacking ECM blows up though. What percentage does it need to not blow up? 10 times. 10% misfire chance minus recoil times multiplier. No, reco I think that's a dash. Recoil time. <laughs> so look at that wording, chat. There should be a fucking colon there, right? Because with the dash here, and then they use. The <laughs> dash can be used as minus in a formula. And then the recoil times multiplier uses x. X is multiply here. So confusing. Is this... I think this is supposed to be recoil times multiplier equals misfire chance. If our recoil is zero, and what's the multiplier? 10%. Plasma is not as bad heat-wise as PPCs. Uh, how much plasma ammo do we have? enough it's gonna neuter the stalker a bit but I could totally be happy with the LRM stalker if we have enough missile mounts for it I think it has four so what does apply this thing could run four plasma although it's not on the arm I mean it only two on the arms I still am wondering about this. Can we make this work? Forget the micros. The micros are just fucking around, but like. I 
We have one more of these uh, snub nose weapons. I like snub nose PPCs. I think this is going to crush us and heat, though, is the issue, right? size we're running yet I mean, these things already have good range yeah I do have one more bombast that's correct Plus three and a plus four. It's only eight tons over. How's the heat? Terrible, presumably. We have the TSM for the heat. TSM is a movement mod, chat. It's not a heat mod. It's not running the other thing it needs. Room for ferrofibrous. Uh, seven. Three, six, we're one off for Pharaoh right now. Oh, no, there's another leg. Good call. Okay, how bad is this heat? Without looking, it looks incredibly bad. So let's actually look. Uh, generating two of these at <laughs> 65 and three of these at 90. Uh, yeah, it's 93 and 65, chat. That's not bad, right? Inventing 84 per round. It's also six tons over. We could just cut the, uh, the, the armor, all of it. Well, let's say we did fuel cell. What could we actually run? How many, could we run three bombasts in a fuel cell? Like, I don't know if I really want to do that, but could we do it? Um, what is 40% of 90? So 10% of 90 is nine times four is 36 for that. So we can barely keep three bombasts going with the fuel cell, barely. Or rather we're barely positive on heat per round. I don't think you can, I don't think this thing is usable on a, any of the medium to large size mechs. I think a fuel cell is only good on small mechs because the fact that you can't ever modify your heat generation again means that you can't use enough weapons. Maybe okay with something like, I was gonna say like auto cans or something, but then why do you care? You don't need it for this. I think it's only good on like mechs that are like 30, like 30 tons because then it doesn't weigh shit and then it gives you a lot of heat reduction. So we can't use the snub noses and the bombasts. Bombasts are better than snub noses when we're running this setup here, if we're using this setup here. We don't have to use this setup here. We could try to make this an actual kind of mid-range brawler with like PPCs, maybe ERs and uh, snub noses. Plan being to basically shoot at all ranges. How much heat can we vent then? 80. We're not going to get more heat vented than this, correct? And that alone already comes in at 65, right? Let's have some terrible launcher in the head. Like, I, I 
just every time I look at my fucking lasers, I'm annoyed with them. What about other things then? What about the clan lasers? Large pulse. Sandpapery. What's the range on it though? Like 300. Got one large close pulse, one large pulse plus. Or one clan large pulse, one large pulse plus. Large pulse plus. Got a couple large lasers. Yar large laser clans. So the synergies would be bombasts and pulse. Or And what's the weight what's the heat generated off these pulses? This is also not a third bombast. So the pulses are heavy comparatively. If we're going to try to take advantage of this, which I'm not sure we are, but if we were, I mean, this has got to be close in heat, right? This is 90 plus 30 for 120. It's not close. We're still too much over. If we're just running these heat sinks, it's literally the three bombasts. Are the chems dead? We have them. I mean, it just feels like so much mech to support so few weapons. The Bombass is a multi-mode weapon, and the mode that I care about is the 80 damage mode, which takes 30 heat. engine on it yeah I do and the huge engine doesn't synergize with infinite range either although this is not a fast mech 610 is not fast would the minus recoil not be good for the rotary cam would be excellent for the rotary cam there's a road there is a rotary cam version of this build it's just that we didn't I didn't find the rotary cams to be very good right like that was the problem with the rotary cams it was just sandpapering mechs They generate um, 36 heat for six shots. So that's 72 heat. I was running disco with them because they used the same ammo, but I don't know if that's reasonable or not. Out of slots already. It's quick. Uh, what was it? I mean, this is essentially what we had on the other one. Running discos, because if we're sandpapering, we might as well fucking sandpaper. It doesn't really matter to sandpaper more. Or rather, it does matter to sandpaper more. It's more useful. And this is pre-ammo. We have to put seven ammo in there. I don't know where the fuck we're going to fit seven ammo. Uh, how's the heat on this, by the way? So this is 72. Uh, it's 92. It's 112. Rotary cam and bombast fits two and two if we're willing to use all the systems. I almost I had a fit for the grasshopper that ran that. Um, I think I still have it open. It was. Gotta look at some numbers on it is all. It was kind of nice. I ran the medium rotary cams. Heavy armor. I think it's not heat efficient, I think is the problem. 72, it's like 130 heat. That's the issue. I'll pull it up for you guys if you want. Just to disco so you won't run out of ammo. Maybe. What's short on the ammo too? You can you can fit two medium chems 
me doing uh, these l rotary cams and two bombas on on a mech if you want. We're a little light on ammo. I think we're running like three ammo packs, which isn't really enough, and we're way too hot on heat. Is there any way? Jesus. I feel like I'm like jiggling puzzle like puzzle pieces here. So bombasts are close range. The light rotaries are only usable if you're gonna cheese their um, their range. Because otherwise they're not only are they a sandpaper weapon, they're a sandpaper weapon with an optimal of like two. That actually weighs a fair amount. I mean, this is... I mean, it's not probably much more than... This is about putting, like, three medium lasers on, right? I just, I just didn't find these useful. Like, I thought these were going to be so cool. And they were okay versus... They were really good versus turrets. And kind of shit versus everything else, right? Do we even want to run this weapon system? We can build other things. We can build, a like, a mid-range PPC one and a long-range PPC one. And then we can save the infinite range one for... Um, or the SRMs. Yeah, I kind of hated the sandpaper shit too. Like, it's too bad. It, it looked like it was going to be cool, but it really wasn't. So if we're just going to say this is the bombast one, do we just run three bombasts on it and call it a day? So we can basically make that work. This will have to. The engine core becomes a little bit more valuable. I mean, basically, we're just rebuilding the summoner with the three bombasts. And paper is shit is great for finishing off damage mechs. So are LRMs and SRMs, right? Didn't like the three bomb bass boat? I thought it did fairly good damage. It was just a little bit light of a chassis, right? It was a little bit light armored and a little bit um slow. This is gonna fix a lot of the I mean it's a lot heavier armored as this size mech. Didn't like three bomb bass. They're, they're, it's 240 damage still. What's not to like about 240 damage with a fairly variable range? Maybe this would be the TSM version. is basically heat stable through firing three bomb bass repeatedly although we will definitely be over 45 regularly armor is okay needs back armor let's max the back armor and look at that two tons left needs to fit a dinghy active probe probably run ams go bigger engine i don't really think we're going to put a bigger engine on this one Put those two ERs for generating initial heat, maybe. ER mediums. It's just such an unexciting mech. It wasn't those, it was these? No, where are they? ER medium laser uh, bright bloom. Like that. No, we're not going to go. This one's not going to go infinite range. We're not going to run Predator on that one. We'll save that. Probably not even running Sensor Tracker, honestly. But maybe. What is the Bombast? Anyone know Bombast uh, min range? Or Monbass short range. Uh, short's 150. But optimal is 200. No, what's the damage version of that? Short's 100. I don't really like the ER thing when it's uh, the sensor tracker when we're like that. Can we 
run like FCS Flak or something. This is a lot less exciting with only a single thing benefiting from this and no, uh, no, whatever it is. No ballistic recoil. Give it bacon. Do what? What are we doing if we do this? Let's say we do this. Sixty-eight tons right now. Two tons left. We're running these bright blooms. What if we try to use this to get into range? With what? Heat bank, maybe? Something that could be looked at into this? This is running slightly hot. We get to use our HS4. We can use... Um, should be a clan. The clan is worse at the moment. Can either use the heat bank, which isn't terrible for this. And we need to be able to overheat it to get close. Which long range lasers seem fine. Could also run something like this for the mid range. is pretty close. I don't think we're going to be fitting ERPPCs on this for weight. Plasma cannons are something I'm interested in, but probably not on this mech. <sighs> Dude, every time I look at the lasers in the situation, I get sad. So, ER clans, large pulse clans. This is six tons. ER clan is four. It's about perfect. Stick one of these in somewhere. If we don't use the bombast and we just make it a medium range, what happens? You like jump jets. I don't like jump jets. Jump jets fuck your accuracy whenever you use them to maneuver. So the only time I've liked jump jets is when I was trying to get into position on turns where I'm not shooting. And I really liked having the, the wing heat things for that. So what does this do for us, if anything? So it runs hotter than it vents by like 10. And if we use the clan laser to start with, I think we vent still not enough. So we fire three of these at extent. Like we're not gonna overheat fast enough from this to take advantage of this. Like every time I build this thing, this thing sucks. So close range bombast with decent sized engine. Maybe. Jump just to heat the TSM. None of that makes any sense. I think the jump jets are instead of walking. And they, they perform the same role if I'm jumping into position versus TSMing. I'm not meleeing with it. <laughs> so I come down to three bump. This is like this is why I haven't fit the grasshopper. I've done it over like three play sessions. I've refused to fucking hit fit the grasshopper because I'm just so like not excited by all the builds that come out of it. Like all of them seem so mediocre to me. And honestly, just adding a seventh mech is fine. It doesn't. It's it's okay to be a mediocre mech. Get the two R, the two ER mediums back. Maybe they heat things up. But if we're not trying to heat up things, it's not very exciting anymore. And the only other thing we have is we have optimal four fifty on these. Optimal three something here, 300. Optimal, uh, these very high heat ones were also pretty high optimal. Optimal 320 on the me uh, the medium bright blooms. I fucking hate pulse lasers though. It's, the, it's just more sandpaper. I kinda don't like lasers at all. The exciting stuff is the plasma cannon, which doesn't really fit on here. Although we now have four. I wonder if we could actually fit four plasmas on this. 
and the ER PPCs are maybe the heavy PPC side is something I'm interested in, the snub noses. What's the heavy's rough range? 400? This thing is fucking scary though. Stub node range, stub node's range is pretty nice. You're around that 360, 300 range. 330, 360. This is much further, 400. I feel like long range plasma is actually pretty solid. Can we get four on here? What are these weigh? Six, I think. This is the first time we've had four plasma. We need another 12 tons for plasma. How much the how much heat does it cause? 30 times 4 is 120 heat to us, which is a lot of heat. I don't know if we can support four plasma on this mech, because this mech can't support shit. See what I mean, chat? Every time you build it, every every iteration of every laser weapon system that I can think of leaves me pissed off with this mech. Pl plasma would be what we'd use the infinite range shit on to get it into like the 400s. Optimal 300 on the base version, and it goes to 400, right? I mean, that 360 range, the best thing I could see right now is this. And I can't support the heat on these. If we just ran four, where's the other bombast too? There. I mean, it almost fits with weight right now. We can trim it a little bit. The heat's the issue, 90. We're not even heat with that. But if we run, what are the other heat versions of the bombast do if we're sitting at a slightly longer range and just being flexible about it? Uh, the 200 range one and the 300 range one, 300 and 400, 400 ways uses 26, 300 uses 21, 21 and 26, so 21 is 60, 60 and 30 is 90, maybe we can just use them as medium range, I mean what is, how is that version, like the 400, 300 meters with 50 damage, 55 damage, 300 meters, Basically this, right? For 21 heat. It's like a slightly more heat efficient stub nose. And how does all this compare to like a regular stub nose? 35. For 65. For 60. Can I make him the melee mech? No, dude. No. Like, at least this is an upgrade. us three more heat but gives us a little bit more stuff maybe I mean at this size can we XXL it sure and can we get another heat sink on probably 